it's Lisa here with a love note for February 10th. Today, the guides came in and talked about something that we've often heard, which is this idea that it is in giving that we receive. And they kind of put a different twist on it today. Um, you know, we know that that's part of the prayer of St. Francis here, I have it right here, so it's near my desk, but the idea that when we give to others, that is actually when we, you know, receive gifts and that that's especially true when it comes to spiritual gifts. Um, but they related it to the shift that we're currently going through from a 3D level of consciousness to a 5D level of consciousness, and especially as it shows up in our service. A very 3D related way of service is thinking about serving from selfish motives or serving from a place of how does this benefit me personally versus a more 5D approach to service is serving from the heart with an emphasis on how can I benefit others. Now, there are many people who for ages have been serving from a fifth dimensional level of consciousness type heart space. So a lot of that's happening now. And a lot of it, um, we have an opportunity to intentionally choose to operate from that heart space even more moving forward into the future. But what they came in to say today is that when we do that, when we serve others with a pure heart through love, in a way intended for their benefit and upliftment, that spirit actually has our back and that that's an opportunity for our gifts and abilities to be uplifted, amplified, and even activated on a bigger and more meaningful scale. I experienced this today. I mean, I lived it. And that was the part that I'm just like, whoa, this message is so timely right now. I was on, you know, in a, in a call, um, doing an energetic clearing with someone and it was fascinating because in the course of that particular effort you know we were working on the energy working on the on the chakra fields calling in you know a lot of help from the ascended masters and archangels and others and it was wild how we could both witness and experience like my ability to be able to do that get ratcheted up like like that I mean the, the days of thinking that we have to go sit in a cave for decades to connect with our soul and our spiritual gifts and other things those days are gone like the our ability to amplify and up level our gifts and it's not really us doing it. It's like spirit activating it within our bodies. It can happen instantaneously now. And that was such a wild experience to go from just yesterday thinking, man, I wish I could do that. That's something I wish I could do to today it happening and it not being related to me in any way other than I was simply serving from the heart. And it was like spirit said, hey, you're giving and so now here you receive and this is how you're going to receive and it was freaking cool <laughs> you know which makes me think yeah when we're when we're serving from a place of genuine love and compassion with the idea of how can i help others that we actually are helping ourselves in the process that that's one of the beautiful aspects of grace or the the spiritual law of reciprocity in play, like in motion, and that it doesn't have to happen 10 years down the road or, you know, a couple decades down the road, but because of the way time and energy are like speeding up right now, it happens fast, like fast. I'm kind of blown away right there, right now. I'm going to be honest. I'm like, whoa, holy crap, this is real. So it's one thing to get the message. It's another thing to like experience it in real life and to have a witness going, holy smokes, that, that just happened. So, you know, one of the things that they also said, though, is that we have got to get out of this idea that giving from the heart means everything has to be free. And they said that that's actually just this whole martyrdom concept is such an old energy way of thinking that 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 perspective is needs to be but is a thing of the past it's gone they said that's just a path to the poorhouse that's all that is and what they said was that actually that in giving everything away for free we are denying other people the opportunity to actually invest in a meaningful way in their own progress and in their own like up leveling of, of their own skills and abilities. And I thought that was really fascinating. 
but I've seen it too, you know, times when I've run programs and have, you know, comped them for people um, or given, you know, 100% scholarships or something like that for my programs. It's been interesting because the people tend to be less engaged in the material, tend to be less engaged in their own advancement, in their own, you know, work. And so I've actually seen that too. But they said um, that when we keep serving, from a space of love, genuinely showing up, not thinking about it from what's in it for me, but how can I be of service to someone else? That's especially when the, the full extent of the law of reciprocity, the power of grace has an opportunity to kick in and really up-level, amplify, activate your soul gifts and your soul alignment in, in an even bigger, more profound way if you're ready. And, you know, some folks will experience that uplifting and go, holy crap, you know, because sometimes with the uplifting, when our energy shifts like that, it can create some effects in our body or in our life that is just like, whoa, you know, that um, almost feels like something we have to heal from, you know, rather than that being the healing in and of itself. But they said that when you're ready and you're genuinely working from a place of soul alignment and heart centered service, for the benevolent benefit of others, that that it is in giving that you receive really gets activated and amplified in spectacular ways. I saw it today, <laughs> and I'm still just pretty floored because that was awesome. And uh, now I'm eager to share, you know, in an even bigger way because a I know that I can be of even greater service and benefit to others. And then I'm kind of wondering, woo, if this is cool, what comes next? you know, what comes next and to lean into that, that curiosity and that, wow, what else could potentially be in store? That's kind of fun and cool. So anyway, just think about what level of consciousness are you serving from? Are you serving from your heart? Do you have an opportunity to serve from your heart? Can you show up truly in service to other people in a way that's aligned with your gifts, your abilities, your soul, your, your purpose as well. And then can you be open to actually receiving the gifts of spirit on the other side of that too? Because that's some pretty cool stuff. So something for you to think about in this love note for February 10th. I hope you have a most magnificent day.